Hello everybody, uh, hope you're all well. And yes, it's, it's not lost on me that I should have worn this hoodie last week when I was talking about colour theory and blue and orange and other complementary colours and stuff. It was in the wash, but yeah, a, a missed opportunity, I think. Never mind, you're probably thinking, James, why on earth have you got a box of wall plugs and screws in front of you? That, that seems a bit random. Yes, um, I thought this would be a good demonstration of uh, how many emails I get per year, I suppose, uh, from companies wanting to send me free stuff, which sounds fantastic, doesn't it? Sounds like, um, well, a dream, to be honest. Camera companies and photo companies and companies involved in photography equipment wanting to send you free stuff. The thing is, I'd say of this batch of emails, maybe, maybe that, 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 and that is stuff that I think you might be interested in. And ultimately that's what the companies care about. They don't want to give me free stuff. They want you to see the stuff. And uh, yeah, I'd say a very small percentage of it is stuff that I think would be any good for anyone to, um, to see. I'd also say that of that stuff, maybe that, 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 no, I'd say that this is probably all I need. But anyway, I got a package this week that fits this bill. So I thought I'd tell you about it. Oh, by the way, the plugs that you can see down there, I've noticed some of the comments, people talking about this and being distracted and stuff. There's gonna be a, um, what do you call it? Chest of drawers there. Uh, it's been made at the moment, but it's taken ages. So uh, that is gonna be covered and it's gonna look quite nice. I'm gonna put lights on it and stuff, but yeah, take ages. I do have a frame though. So that's, that's progress on last week. Right, yes, a couple of weeks ago, maybe more than that. Uh, you might remember me moaning about this camera. This is my Sony ZV-1. I've been using it for vlog type stuff a couple of times, not many really because of lockdown. But uh, yeah, I've used it a bit and it was marketed as a vlogging camera. Uh, but my contention was that it wasn't wide enough in terms of focal length to be a vlogging camera. Anyway, Ulanzi got in touch after that rant that I had and uh, offered to send me the wide angle adapter for this camera. And it's fantastic, it works really, really well. And this camera now, I think, is fit for vlogging. I mean, I've also added a plate at the bottom of it so that I can get to the battery door and have a tripod plate on the bottom at the same time that I don't have to remove to get to the battery door, which is also where the SD card is. So I've, I've added some stuff, which means it's not really pocketable anymore, but it now does work as a vlogging camera. So that's progress. Anyway, here's what the field of view looks like without the adapter, and here's what it looks like with the adapter. So yeah, great little bit of kit. However, I think unless you've got this camera, you probably don't care about this wide angle adapter. And even if you do have this camera, you might not care. So I think what's more interesting is the other stuff that they sent me that's not camera specific. And I'll start with the least interesting of them. So this is the Ulanzi Falcam um, camera clip. I don't really know what to call them to be honest. I've made a video on uh, camera clips though. I made a video last year about cheap versus expensive ones. And I think in terms of product type, this is the most revolutionary thing to hit the market, certainly since I've been taking photos. These things, specifically the Peak Design one that I've had for three or four years, have completely changed the way that I take photos and how many photos I'm able to take because my camera is always to hand. It's not in my bag, it's not hidden away somewhere, it's easy to get to, it's right here. And uh, yeah, it means that I take lots and lots of photos that I wouldn't otherwise take. Uh, but yeah, as I say, I've used the Peak Design one for years. This is just another version of it. Cool product, but not revolutionary anymore because yeah, as I say, I've used it for a long time. However, there are similar products that I haven't seen before that do roughly the same thing. Uh, let me explain. Uh, now, if you've watched this channel before, uh, you probably will know that I hate using tripods. Like lots of photographers, I just absolutely despise it. So I don't use a tripod unless I'm shooting at a 30th of a second or a 15th or a 10th of a second on a stabilized body. Uh, but even that depends on the focal length that I'm using, how windy it is. I'll assess all those things before getting a tripod out and I'll only do that if it's absolutely necessary. Anyway, at the bottom of this camera, as you can see, there is what looks like a massive tripod plate. Uh, and if I put this on the tripod, like I have to do all my tripods, so you screw out the thing and then screw back in the Arca thing, uh, and then the camera is secure. Thing is, I hate doing that screw thing. That's just another reason I hate tripods, having to mess around with the screws on the legs and the Rubbish. So this product, actually it's not a massive uh, tripod plate because if I press this button at the back, basically it's the same premise as the camera clip I showed you before. You can just take the camera off the tripod like so. Press the button again and I can... Need a bit of practice I think. Probably better if I do it 
able to see it. But yeah, I can basically slide the camera in and out without having to mess with this little screw thing. It's not gonna save me hours and hours, but it's one less kind of area of resistance I have to using tripods. So that is quite a clever little design. I like that. It's not the cleverest thing that they've sent me though. There's another variation of this, which I think is even more useful to uh, my photography. So throughout lockdown, I have been using this, my favorite camera strap of them all, the Peak Design Slide. This is my old one actually, it's a bit busted up, but I'll use it to demonstrate. So yeah, in lockdown, I've not been taking loads of photos really, to be honest, because I've got to stay near my house. But I go for a walk every day, and on every walk that I go on, uh, I take a camera body and a lens. I'm not gonna take everything with me, because chances of me getting photos are pretty much nil around my house, but I don't like to be without a camera when I go out of the house, so I take it on a strap, which is one body, one lens. Now, as I say, I absolutely love this strap, but there are times when using it becomes troublesome. Uh, so for example, if I wanna take a photo that's close to the floor, let's pretend that this table is the floor and I'm taking photos down here. Um, I probably, as you can see, it basically means that I'm sort of dragged down to the floor like this. So I'll take the strap off and I've got two choices then. Again, if this is the floor, I can either hold it up off the floor so that the strap doesn't get all muddy and wet and stuff, but that means I'm not fully focused on my composition in the photo that I'm taking, or I can just sort of let it dangle on the floor, not worry about it, think about my, uh, my photo, but then when I put it back on, it's all wet and muddy, which isn't ideal either. So I can take the camera strap off, stick it in my pocket or something, but then that means as soon as I finish taking the photo, I've got to reattach it, which again, is not the biggest task in the world, but it's just a bit of a faff. So this other product that I have been sent solves this. So new strap, get rid of the old one. So this little thing attaches to the camera strap just like the camera does, but then this becomes the attachment for the camera. I should have done this earlier, really. There we go. So yes, this means that I can keep my camera strap around me at all times, and if I want to take the camera off the camera strap, then all I have to do, again, is press this button, slide the camera out, put the camera back in, slide it back in, and then it just works like a normal camera strap. Very, very simple, and there's a very good chance that I've just been living under a rock, and people have known about these things for a long time. I mean, I know you can get straps that sort of operate like this, but I just love the Peak Design version. Uh, so this, I think, completely changes how I'm able to use my favorite strap, and ultimately how I'm able to use my camera when I'm just out and about with one body and one lens. And I'm very impressed with this, and I wish I'd thought of it sooner because for a long time I've just been sort of taking my camera off the strap and then not wanting to put it in my pocket, so just having it sort of dangle around my body. And I don't really want to tighten a knot because you, I mean, you can do that, but it doesn't really, it looks a bit stupid. I don't have to do that with this. So uh, I'm very grateful for the existence of, of this. Like all the little things I've shown you. So yeah, all these things are more useful than most of the emails I get about gear. So uh, I thought I'd share those things with you. Also, uh, a bit embarrassingly, and this is proof that I've lived under a rock, I thought I'd share with you how I'm charging my camera gear at the moment, which, I mean, this is ridiculous. So you'll recognize this, or one of these, this is just a, an extension lead thing, power bank, whatever you wanna call it. Um, so I've got three power sockets and then some USB sockets as well. I've had these all over my house for years, as most people have, and for some reason, up until the last three months or so, I've never thought of getting one of these, putting it in a specific drawer, and then using that drawer as like a charging station for all my camera batteries. I literally got this three months ago and thought about doing that with camera gear for the first time. Up until then, I've been trying to find spare plug sockets in my house and just charging one thing at a time in those sockets. Professional photographer, I've been for five years. I know. So I've bought one of these, which lives in a specific drawer here in my office, uh, and the only job of that drawer is to keep all of the batteries and charging stuff that I might need to um, charge stuff. And uh, yeah, so I bought one to have at home and one to take on the road with me so that I can charge stuff easily when I'm, uh, I'm traveling. And uh, yeah, that's a whole lot easier than what I've been doing to date, which is um, taking loads of international adapters with me to wherever I go and trying to find 10 different plugs in a hotel room so that I could charge all my stuff. Never thought of that before, ridiculous, and it means I only need one of these. 
And also what I've started doing actually is that I've bought little extensions for uh, all the different kinds of batteries I have. So this is like a third party GoPro. I think this is a GoPro, no, this is the GoPro one. So I can charge three GoPro batteries at once from a USB connection in this, uh, which is very good. And this is for the little Sony camera that I was showing you before. And uh, yeah, I can just charge everything using this. I think it's surge protected. I assume it's surge protected. I don't think I'd bought it otherwise. And um, yeah, looks like a Christmas tree when everything's charging all at once, but it means I only have to use one plug and everything's in one place. I know it's ridiculous that I've only just realized that in 2021. Like I say, living under a rock. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Hopefully that was useful and or interesting. Thanks for watching in any case, and thank you to this week's video sponsor, Skillshare. So Skillshare is an amazing online learning platform with thousands of classes in all kinds of different topics. So you'll find animation, web development, UX design, photography, illustration, film and video, creative writing, fine art, loads of different stuff. Uh, and I'm currently doing a class on uh, advanced Photoshop skills. And I got quite good at Photoshop when I was doing my composite photos, as you might remember from years and years ago, uh, but I picked up some bad habits and those bad habits still exist. So I'm hoping to sort of retrain myself by learning the right way to do things. And actually with Photoshop, there's, there's not often a right way to do things. There's a, a whole load of ways you can do things, but I think it's best I, I learn from someone who really knows because I'll probably cut out about 10 different steps every time I try and do a new thing. So yeah, that's what I'm doing at the moment. It's fantastic. Anyway, if you're one of the first thousand people to click the link in my description, then you'll get access to a free trial of Skillshare. And if you decide to carry on with Skillshare after that, then you'll pay less than $10 a month to do so for access to all the classes that you'll find on there. So it's an amazing platform. I'd highly recommend it, particularly at the moment when lots of us are stuck with, well, more time on our hands than usual. So yeah, thank you again for watching. And thank you to Skillshare. And hopefully next time, I was gonna say we'll be outside, but I probably won't be the case. But we're a week closer to being allowed to be outside properly, I think, I hope, I imagine. I'll see you then.